Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to Project Zomboid Survival. And if you remember last time, I managed to make and kind of finish the wonderful fort and the upper level of the fort with these two magical kind of castle turret kind of things. And today I'm going to head towards West Point in the search for jar and lids. And hopefully I can get some stuff. What I'm also going to do while I'm there is probably check them all and also get a sledgehammer and break into the gun shop to get some weapons and ammunition as well. So I've got some plants which are growing pretty well. Uh, hopefully they're not actually thirsty. No, well watered, which is pretty good. Uh, these are going to die, definitely. These are going to die, unfortunately, because I stupidly put them underneath a walkway so they can't actually get any rain. So what I'm going to do is take a hammer and a saw with me and I think just my axe as well. So if I just put these into my backpack, and then at least I can kind of fortify wherever I need to. And I also do need to bring some nails back as well. So let's just grab some food for the journey. Take a shit ton of beef jerky. And some crisps as well. And some chocolate. Why not? And some pickles. Fuck it. I should be able to bring quite a bit of food back uh, with me as well. Also, just need to eat something from here, just to get the old hunger up. Uh, let's just eat two bags of chips. And it should be good to go. So, I think I'm going to have to head north. I'm going to head to the industrial to pick up a sledgehammer first. Uh, that's going to weigh quite a bit. I've got two full bottles of water on me, so it should be okay. And basically just go from there. I think West Point is going to be extremely sketchy. It's now nearly October, so there's probably more and more zombies around with the you know, amount of people that are getting infected and turning to zombies and stuff like that. The erosion's kicking in, and I think winter's going to kick in soon as well. So the quicker I can get all these jarring and pickling equipment things, then uh, the better, really. I've managed to reach the industrial warehouse and find my sledgehammer. And also remembered that I left a tent kit here as well, so I'll probably take this with me, providing that it doesn't weigh me down. And I think what I'm going to do is actually spend the night here, um, simply because if I leave now, I'm never going to get there before before dark, really. And it, it's a bit sketchy, especially trying to fortify somewhere. I don't really want to camp out. And in fact, I will actually leave the tent here. But I'm going to sleep on the couch, get some stuff done. And at least I've got my sledgehammer, I've got a decent amount of food on me. Just going to eat some pickles. And uh, basically just chill out. Just not go anywhere for the next few hours. Head out. And uh, in fact I'm going to explore upstairs. I think I've, I have actually been up here. But you know, a nice little view of the area and stuff like that. And uh, I think I could just like rest up on one of these. Remove bush. Okay. Giggity, and um, oh shit, I'm gonna fall down them stairs. So I'm gonna rest here, uh, get some sleep over the night, and then leave again in the morning. It's now 10 to 8 in the morning, and I've decided to leave for West Point. And I'm just gonna follow the main road, as this is the kind of way that it's probably the easiest, it's the most well signposted, and I can't really go wrong. So when I get there, I think I'm going to arrive in the centre. I assume it's going to be extremely busy. And if there's any shops or anything on the way, I'll probably park off there and rest. Simply because I'm probably going to be pretty tired of sprinting this distance. And I've got to manage my fatigue and my stamina quite well to do it effectively, basically. To get in without being in any significant danger. Obviously, this is the problem of not taking any weapon. But decided that kind of sledgehammer will... We'll have a better payoff, especially if I can get into the gun store, which I should be able to. So, hopefully I don't run into any major zombie hordes along this road. The fuck is that? Uh, grass. So, hmm. We will see. Just getting a bit worried about the fact that the weather's going to change. Uh, I've only experienced cold a few times. And that was down in New Denver. Uh, as expected. And... I should be okay up here around Kentucky, especially till maybe mid-October to kind of late November, maybe? Maybe early November? I'm not too sure. I'm finally at West Point, I think. I hope. And there's a shit ton of zombies everywhere, so definitely at West Point. 
uh, warm welcome back, you know, that's the way it is. And I think I'm going to have to stay in one of these shops tonight, so let's just end a few zombies. Getting pretty shit hot with this axe. Pretty shit hot. So let's just fuck these up. I seem to be mistiming my swings a lot, which is, which is a bit of a problem, especially when there's this many hordes, you kind of need to strike and move. Shit. Whoa. Right, fuck this. Um, I think the problem is as well, because I'm actually soaking wet, um, I, my accuracy goes slightly on my speed as well. So obviously affects the speed of my strikes, so... And obviously I'm fucking tired. You know, blown through my arse and shit like that. This is going to be a tall order, fucking this amount of Zeds. Hmm. Might just run up to the gun shop. It is like half six at night though, so... Starting to draw in the daylight. And, yeah, this is bad. This is bad. I fucking hate West Point. I absolutely fucking hate West Point. It's not 3.30 in the morning and I am fully rested, so I'm going to deal with these. And this should be a lot easier now. I'm swinging free, you know? Swinging free. Still wearing boxer shorts, but swinging free. Right, let's just move my hammer back into my bag. I'm kind of carrying a tiny bit too much. Right, and what I want to do is... Right, let's just take this door down as well. In fact, there might be some planks on here. Ah, that's unfortunate. Nails. I could do with taking some duct tape. I will use. Okay, we've got a plank there as well, which is good. So I need to actually just put this on the broken fucking thing. Broken uh, window. I forgot what it was then. <laughs> and let's just barricade that up. So at least that's that's kind of safe. Kind of safe now. I'm not amazingly safe, but st still could do with some more planks from somewhere. So let's just check behind the bar, see what we've got. A lot of a lot of expert books and stuff like that. Um, I can't imagine there'll be a plank here. I mean, there's a decent amount of ammo. If I did have a pistol, which I don't, and I'm dreadful with. Vinegar could take, but I'm not going to bother. As we've got about 14 of them back at the back at the base, some water bottle and stuff like that. Right, I think what I'm going to do is just go and chop the door down in the in the gun shop. Is that broke as well? Yeah, so I definitely need to... In fact, you know what I'll do? Let's do it the old-fashioned way. Chop down some logs, and I need to actually saw them up as well. So I'm going to saw these, try and barricade stuff, and get some rest. That's kind of the next thing. Then I can probably get into the gun store. Then I'm going to try and shoot my way into the supermarket. Right, that should be enough planks. And then head up to North West Point before heading home. Hopefully, that's like the best case scenario. I finally woke up after about 7 or 8 hours sleep. I managed to actually barricade... Twiggy's up, so I'm going to use that as a base over the next kind of 24 hours. And I'm just going to break into the gun shop right now. So hopefully I can get through. Let's destroy this shit. Uh. Fuck, do I destroy walls, man? Oh, there we go. Oh, it's probably best doing this wall actually. I think that one's got a cabinet on the other side. Okay, so I'm just gonna deposit this and kind of leave the sledgehammer amongst the carnage of the dead zombies. At least I know where that is. If I ever do need to come back and get it, then that's fine. But let's see what we've got. Got some scopes, some shotgun shells, some more shotgun shells. Not an incredible amount, but still good enough. 
recoil pad, a new axe I'll come back and get another time. Varmint rifle, I'm not going to use it, I'm just not good enough with guns to actually use that at the moment, so. Right, let's equip this shit into both hands. Okay. So, what else have we got? Box of shotgun shells, again. Fishing for beginners. Pivotal magazine, today's society. Right, okay, some more shotgun shells. Right, doing well, doing well. And a pistol, which I'm not going to bother with. So, let's just check the back. This is normally some shit there. Just fill the water bottle up. And what I'm going to do is just dump some stuff back in Twiggies, as I said, using that as a base. So, I'm going to take all this ammo, which is, uh, which is a decent amount of ammo. Very decent amount indeed, and let's just head back over there. And there should be somewhere I can store this, just I'm on the shelves or something in the back. And it's because I'm kind of weighed down at the moment, so what have we got on there? A candle. So I'll put the axe in there, put the nails, um, the chips can go in there as well. I'm just going to eat these two chocolate just to get relatively well fed. Hammer and the saw. Uh, have I got baker blockers still? Yeah. I'll make the antidepressants and the lighter as well. Take the painkillers just in case stuff goes wrong. And let's just load these into the actual shotgun. So how many to get? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11, 11 boxes, pretty decent haul, um, it's, it's quite a few shells, like over 240 odd, so that's, that's pretty good, probably lasts me about 10 minutes, but let's just take 3 boxes, no, fuck it, 4, go out with a bang, and I'm actually going to saw the shotgun off, um, so I need to get my saw back, and just pop out there, let's saw this bitch up, Sawn off. There we go. That's just going to spread the range slightly. Um, but uh, Sorry, going to decrease the range, but it's going to increase the spread, which is what I need to take down more at once. Um, the accuracy is pretty dodgy, but uh, it should be fine. So let's head over to the supermarket. Nice little base there anyway, or a nice little kind of stopping point. And yeah, shitload of ammo. So... Let's just group these up. I want to be still want to be slightly efficient. It's like I'm not making any promises to be incredibly efficient, but it's mad. There's normally like it's really strange like, when I haven't got a shotgun that's like hordes and hordes. I get a shotgun that's like yeah, yeah. Well then, you know, like we're just gonna go over here. Like maybe the zombies know. So let's just take some bigger blockers, and what I want to do is try and just clear this area out. And I've got a feeling there could be some jars in the supermarket. If not, I'll have to head up north tomorrow morning and uh, see through there. Oh shit. See, like that spread, it hit one to the left and behind. That's fucking beautiful, beautiful, beautiful weapon. Fucking pirate shotgun. Let's just reload again. I mean, this is going to attract a lot from across the map, but it's fine. Shit. Okay, alright. Let's just loop the fuck around. Just go reversey percy on these motherfuckers. Shit. Maybe not. I don't know how, like, I'm tired, all I've been doing is, like, doing a bit of jogging and then, you know, shooting a tiny bit, but that's fine. That's fine. It's happened. I finally found a fucking jar lid. So, the elusive jar lid has been found. And I just need to find a fucking jar now as well. So, I'm actually shocked that they do exist. I found a decent amount of shotgun shells in here as well, which is nice. And, um... 
I need to find some jars and an empty jar as well. Get the fucking the quest for fucking jars has been solved. Or jar, not plural, because I've only found one. And I think what I'm gonna do is actually head to the food market um in the centre tomorrow morning. And yeah, should be good to go from there. I mean one jar lid and one jar, it's still better than nothing. Still shit, but kind of better than nothing still, if that makes any sense. So I'm just gonna run back to Twiggy's, drop all this stuff off, and head to the food market in the morning. Hopefully get a good night's sleep. Uh it is twenty past one in the morning. Busy day, good day, and uh, at least I can kind of pickle one single thing, which is good. I fucking love West Point, really do. I used to hate it, but now I've found jars and lids. Who couldn't be happy about it? It's a, it's a magical time of year. All right, I need to work out actually how to get in here. I'm just shooting for absolutely no reason. Right. Let's see if we can get in here. Fuck. What right here? Right, I think this actually loops round. Um, what is this place? Journal, magazine, journal. I really don't know what this is. I don't think I've ever seen this area before. Um, I could start writing a journal. I suppose it'd be pretty interesting. Just kind of, you know. All be about my obsession with jars and lids, but you know, that's been quashed. I'll have to get addicted to some other idea. Ah, what the fuck is this place? Scissors? I don't know what I could possibly use scissors for when I've got an axe, but there you go. Okay. Looks pretty, pretty odd. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I might actually just put my fucking hand through the window or something. Shit. After reloading, obviously. Finally, I'm on a steal with the zombies. There's still a few crawlers about, but I'm going to smash this window open and just climb through simply because I really haven't got the time to do anything else. And I've used far too much ammo as it is, so let's just check what's around. See if there's any jars and lids. Some chips, though. Oh, shit. Just drop them on the floor for no reason. Just being rebellious, you know, throwing food around and stuff like that. Anything there? Nope. Chips. A lot of chips in this food market. Seem to be my best friend. I am Mr. Chips. Salt chips, more chips, 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 chips. Come on, I just want some more jars and lids, mate. That's all I need. Shotgun shells, I will take. Happily take them. More shotgun shells. What the fuck are they in a food market? Right, chips again. And more chips. There's got to be some jars somewhere. Looks like a fresh food establishment, so. Banana. Nope. Let us know. Oh shit! Scared the shit out of me. You bitch. Right, okay, so I'm going to take these nails, as I do need to take nails back. And, you know, they're pretty rare in my area at the moment, so... Just try and take a few boxes with me. Some wood glue there as well. Um, let's take some more nails. I do need to eat. Oh, shit, I'm probably best. Oh, shit. How did I get in? Right, I did actually close that door. That's fine. Just a bit worried, just in case any any of the Zeds came through there. But I have blocked off my kind of path through, which is pretty good. So let's just check through here. It's a pretty swanky house. Pretty official. Kids' bedroom. Don't know where they've gone. And what have we got through here? Big hiking bag. Um, don't need any of that at the moment. We'll get a drink though. And uh, that's pretty decent stuff. So I'm going to check these kitchens, see if we can find any other jars and lids. On the quest for jars and lids. That's fuck all in there as well, that's unfortunate. So I think what I'm going to do is just rest up um, and eat some food, stuff like that. 
Then tomorrow morning, I'm going to head towards Northwest Point and then head home. I've reached up north and I think I'm pretty close to the food market. I've just passed a train station and just heading into the centre of town. Um, there's a few kind of shitty wrecked houses around here, but I've got pretty nice gardens. Relatively unkept at the moment, but that's fine. And it might be worth checking some of these houses later. There's just quite a bit of zombie aggro going on. And I'm starting to tire as well. So what have we got here? There we go, food market. So let's just try and jimmy this shit open. Sail on, on something there as well. Oh, fuck. Is this open? Not this. Nope. Okay, could have some zombie problems. Maybe. I'm not too sure. If we can get into here and get out, then fine. No zombie problems whatsoever, but... I'm kind of almost set on the fact that I'm going to have to go to the mall at some stage, so... really don't want to waste my ammo. In fact, shit, how much ammo did it bring with me? Oh, fuck. I only bought one box. Oh, shit. Uh, I don't know what to do. I could go to the hunting lodge first, pick up some ammunition, um, and then go to the mall. Which I think I'm going to do, as I'm here, it'd seem bad not to take that chance and and try it. I think the pros outweigh the cons of having to run. And I've got enough ammunition to get me through, certainly up until the hunting lodge. Uh, if I don't find enough shotgun shells in there, I'm certainly not going into the mall with just a pistol. So, I think it's north, as far as I can remember, to the hunting lodge, and... I don't know, could take me a while to find it and hopefully it does get light soon as well. I've been running for quite a few hours and I think I've found the hunting resort. I think there should be a lodge up here which could be worth visiting. And then I think in the forest somewhere there's actually the, uh, the actual shooting range where all the ammunition and stuff's going to be. Which is what I need to stock up on and then I think it's an equally long run all the way back to um, to the mall and then an even longer run back to, to West Point so, and then even longer run back to the fort so quite a few runs involved um, lucky my sprinting's getting pretty good and I don't actually know what the fuck I'm doing I seem to be going around in circles ah here we go, there we go problem solved so let's just take a quick look around see if there is actually anything I can use Sure, there will be. Come on, one well, of these doors has got to fucking open. Oh, fuck off, mate. Really? I can see the ammunition as well. I can see it. <laughs> I'll just have to clear this area. Oh, that didn't smash the glass. I'm not too sure. David Blaine shotgun shells. Maybe that's what it is. I'm also out of beta blockers as well, which is bad, which means it takes me, like, about three months to reload one shell, because I'm shaking like a shit and dog. And... Let's just keep going. I mean, the erosions really took place around there. This place looks like shit. Oh, shit. Could really, if I find an axe in there, I'm definitely going to take it because I should have brought my axe with me because this is just a waste of ammo. Sheer waste of ammo. Especially when I'm only shooting kind of scraps as ads as well. Right, okay, let's just open that up. There we go. Right. Oh, shit. Hopefully we've got some beta blockers in there, I'm not too sure if they supply them at a shooting range, but I can do with finding some. I'm sure there'll definitely be some kind of pharmacy in the uh, shopping centre. Or the mall. Is that one dead? No? Didn't think so. 
Maybe we should check the Zeds, actually. Sometimes they have some medication on them. An awful shooting. There's a pistol there. Um, he must have been a member of this gun club. Right, let's just smash through. Oh shit, bleeding. Fuck. Apply bandage, left forearm. Shit. Right, that's bad. Just scratched myself. Uh, let's drink some pop. I think I'm gonna empty bottle. No, maybe not. Shit. Right, okay, what I'm gonna do is actually lock myself. Is that dead? Oh shit! Fucking hell. Um, right, let's round these fuckers up. Shit. Oh, this whole beta blocker situation is pretty bad. Now I'm paying as well, so it's turned out to be a good few days. It's now turned out to be a bad few days. Right, so let's lock myself in there. Got nothing in there. And I have got painkillers on me, I believe. So let's just take them. And hopefully there's a shit ton of ammo. Right, there we go. There we go. Ammunition makes it all better. It's the cure for everything bad in the world. Um, hunting rifle? Hmm. I might actually just give this a go. Um, there are all two Zeds in here, aren't there? Yeah, they're, there. they're right there. So I'm going to give this a go. Uh, let's just dump my sawn off on the floor. Let's just equip this in both hands. Okay. Just try and call them over. Where the fuck are they? I can't even see them. No, definitely, definitely not. I've decided to come to the hunting lodge just because I'm in a bit of pain and really don't want to go to the mall with any more of a disadvantage than I already have. So, I need to actually just clear out these Zeds. I've got a shitload of ammo now. Shit ton of ammo. And can afford to just spray out some shots. I think I've got about 10 boxes of shotgun shells. And just need to get the fuck in, to be honest. Because it's not raining. If I have a cold, that's going to attract more zombies every time I sneeze. Not that sneezing's a problem when I'm just churning fucking shots out. I really could do with some beta blockers, really, really good. Shit, let's just circle around. These little trees aren't doing any favours. There's not that many left. Fuck. Right, okay. Let's just try and get around. Um, shit. Fuck. I thought I was getting grabbed then. It was actually a tree. Scared of nature now. That's how panicky I'm getting. I managed to clear out the front zone and basically get into the lodge. So I'm going to sleep in this chair right in front of me. And head straight to the mall. And I'm going to have to be quick about it because I do want to get back. Uh, winter is coming, as they say. And basically, yeah, I'm going to try and get in. I'm not going to go upstairs. I'm just going to clear the bottom area if I can. And if it gets too risky, I'm going to leave. And, you know, jaws don't mean that much to me now I've found one. Uh, but I do want to see if I can get some more. I don't know if that makes sense, but... Yeah, shit like that, you know. So, I'm going to get some rest and head straight there in the morning. Don't think it's too far away from here. So, I should be able to get there by kind of early afternoon. I've just managed to reach the retail district. And I need some food pretty desperately. So, look at this shit. It's just fucking insane. And this is what I've got to contend with. So, oh shit, I just 
just don't know how to deal with this, to be honest. No bigger blockers, pretty low on food uh, and energy. And I'm about to take on the wall, so this could be the end. This could be the end, I'm not too sure. Um, kind of knee deep in shit around here. I mean, look at the amount of these fucking shoppers. It's like Black Friday or something, you know? It's actually a Friday, 1st of October. Don't know what day it is. Um, yeah, this is this is pretty fucking bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. So where is the actual mall? Right here, okay. And this is this just no bad news. Right, let's fucking disco then. Come on. Shit. <laughs> Holy fuck! This is insane. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh shit! Holy shit! <laughs> right, I don't even know where the fucking jars are gonna be. They're gonna be in a clothes shop. Oh my god! Holy shit! Fucking. Right, okay, let's just reload. <sighs> Jesus! It right, could be somewhere like that. Looks like a kind of markety kind of or somewhere like that in fact. Or somewhere like this. I don't know, it could be anywhere. Could be fucking anywhere. Um Alright, okay. <laughs> this has gotta be pretty sketchy. Pretty fucking sketchy indeed. I don't think a lot of them have actually followed me. I am I'm like actually tell I didn't I'm just shitting a brick. Not personally, but you know what I mean. My aim's gonna go all sketchy as well. Oh uh, no. Any coming from this way? Yeah, there's a few, obviously. I mean with beta blockers this would be a lot quicker and a lot easier. But um I don't know. I just don't know. I've right, got like a spiffer. They're just like dormant, like fucking volcanoes and then they just erupt motherfuckers. Right, I'm trying to work channels. Um trying to work how how to do this tactically. And uh I think run could be the option. Right, let's just keep reloading. Just need to try and keep a full clip. Uh, just take them out in bunches. I don't think I'll ever clear this area out because sort of the fucking ammo in the world. Off me. Right, okay, let's just check what we've got. What, what the fuck was that? Shoot. Right, but damn. What is that? What the fuck is that? I have never seen that before. Um, I'm fucking starving as well, so I do need to get some chips. All right, let's just grab some chips. Come on, or some pop, whatever. Come on, fucking did I get it? All right, let's just drink this shit. Ah, oh, things to do for hunger. Let's just have a little bit of a reload. Okay, I really want to grab that because I don't know what it is. Um, like curiosity killed the cat and all that kind of stuff. But I really don't know what the fuck that is. Um, I've never ever seen it in the whole of Kentucky before. Or New Denver for that matter. Fuck this. Right, okay. Actually doing alright. Uh, I probably shouldn't say that because that will probably mean I die. This looks promising over here. Uh, yeah, really fucking promising. Anything looks remotely promising, no, that's like 8 million zads in. Okay, let's just reload. Well shaken. I could be a pharmacy in there. I don't know why I'd have tables everywhere, but... I don't know. Really lethargic in this area. It must be like a, a McDonald's or something in here. All been eaten, it's just completely hammered them. They get up and go. Up. 
fucking beta blockers are a must. This this could have been done in, in minutes, maybe, possibly. That's another shop full of them there as well. And they're now getting lowered out. It's now nearly midnight, and I still haven't worked out what Majeska is. And I'm pretty, pretty fucked. I just killed a lot of these. There's a few crawlers around and stuff like that. And I'm just doing some last, last checks. Just to see if I can find anything relatively decent. There's just some kind of clothes shops and stuff. And I just I haven't got the energy or the supplies to actually go any further with this. And actually, look at all these crawlers down there. Uh, to actually go upstairs and, you know, sort the rest out and stuff like that. I've killed, I think, the best part of, I think, 700 zombies in the last five days. So, pretty tired. Unfortunately, could only find one jar and lid. Hello, what's this place? Nails, nails, nails. Um, but I mean, it's just, the problem is, am I going to regret not searching around here and stuff like that? I mean, I should come back here when I've got a lot of beta blockers. and probably will come back up here in the winter time. Kind of in the next few months. I've been up here as well. And try and find some more jars and some more lids. What's this place? Let's fuck all in here. Okay. Don't actually know what it is. CDs. Very odd. Very odd. CD shop. Like fucking HIV or Virgin or some shit like that. No wonder it's empty. Everyone shops online now, but yeah, one of them. Um still Zeds around. There's a clothes shop here and some sweaters and stuff. I don't actually need a new sweater. I've got this lovely kind of pink one on. And I think what I'm going to do is actually just rest by one of these benches and then try and head home. There are a few crawlers around, but that should be alright. Should be okay. Managed to make it through to morning time and I'm now going to head back. Actually see what I'm doing now, which is unfortunate, but it's, um, I think it's just a lot of clothes shops and stuff like that. Probably a shit ton of Zeds. Did actually clear quite a bit out. Um, pretty impressed with how well I did with no actual beta blockers or anything like that. Obviously, that's a shop full of zombies, so... There's still a lot of stuff, and it's just fucking irritating to... I'm actually going to take that pop with me. To not get what I actually came in for, and it was quite expensive in the terms of what I use for supplies and ammunition and stuff like that. Can I check in here? This looks like a clothes shop. Yeah, skirt. Can't be asked wearing a skirt again. Um, I mean, ever. And have I been in there? Yeah, I've been in there. So I'm actually going to head out and head all the way back to West Point, grab my stuff, and then head all the way back to base and hopefully, hopefully manage to pick on something. Otherwise, this would be incredibly shit. I don't manage to do that. But I suppose I did get a lot of ammo. A lot of good stuff. Got some pop as well. I mean, I haven't got that much ammo left. Which is which is worrying. Used a significant amount. And I could check all the restaurants and stuff like that up there. But I'm just, I haven't slept in over 24 hours. And I can't really be asked with the fact that I'll probably get caved in because there seems to be more zeds outside the mall as well as inside it as well so it's just crawling <laughs> absolutely crawling it took me a few days but i finally managed to get home and unfortunately a lot of the plants had actually died but um i can actually harvest some of this cabbage and stuff like that which is pretty good managed to get back unscathed uh, i bought a lot of shotgun shells back which are just over here so quite a few boxes there, should be able to protect myself pretty well. And I also brought back a lot of chips, um, which are in here. So I've got 32 packs of chips to get me through the winter as well, and that's before I actually take a look at the trailers up north and stuff like that. But um, I'm just going to harvest some of this and actually try and pickle it. So I've got my vinegar, let's put that in my inventory. We're gonna go my empty jar on my jar lid. Hmm. 
I would go about pickling then. So I've worked out that I actually need sugar. So I'm just going to grab two sugar. I can can some potatoes or can some broccoli. And there we go. Two vinegar, ten water, five broccoli. Uh, I'm actually going to do it with the potatoes. I just kind of prefer potatoes. And there we go. I've got some fucking tinned potatoes. And my dreams have come true. So I'm going to put that with the tinned stuff. Um, that's pretty good. Oh shit, it's full. <laughs> no way. Um, I suppose that's not a bad thing to have a full food shelf in the uh, in the apocalypse. And I can also add these. as well. do a bit of broccoli. And I think what I'm going to do is just try and survive through sort of winter. I'll probably have to go food rummaging at some stage, keep my farming going and stuff. But there's a decent amount here. And I still need to find some more jars and lids. I think I can actually use the lid, uh, the actual jars again. But I don't think I can use the lids twice. Uh, which is a bit of a shame. Because I will have to... I don't know. I don't know why I can't use it twice. But there we go. That's life. And um, what I'm going to do is just fill up my water bottle. And just chill out for a couple of weeks. Simply because I've been running around a lot been building and uh, now I've kind of got everything I need other than maybe again some jars and lids and uh, this is a fucking unhealthy obsession but um, yeah that's the way it's gonna go so thanks for watching guys I'm extremely delighted that I managed to find the jar and lid and actually pickle something or can something and I will see you soon